So a couple of days ago, I was browsing around in the internet and I happened upon something really cool. Apparently flying cars are actually a thing now. Hey what's up everyone, Safety and Technology News here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you all about the very first flying car school that actually just opened in Utah. So the Dutch company Palvi just recently opened a training ground for its aircraft which is called the Palvi-1. This is basically a rotable gyrocopter rather than an airplane, it can travel on city streets as a normal car, but the magic happens when the driver presses a few buttons and the transformation occurs. A mast is lifted into position by motors and then rotors also appear, a tail comes out of hiding in the back and locks into place, and a propeller unfolds from the back of the vehicle. This entire transformation takes about 10 minutes, but once the cycle is completed, a short takeoff just under 600 feet is all that's required and the vehicle can take off and fly at over 100 miles per hour up to 250 miles on a tank of unleaded gasoline. There are just a couple limitations, the vehicle is only going to be able to hold two people, the maximum weight limit is 540 pounds, and a person has to have a full pilot's license to fly one. For right now, this new flying car school in Utah is just training using existing gyroplanes, it's very possible that Palview will be improving it in the future, but the fact that people are actually learning how to fly flying cars in a mountain setting in Utah proves that the fact that this technology is going to become a thing at some point. According to Palvi, they're also really excited to be having a school in Utah because it'll serve to demonstrate how stable the Palvi flying car platform is in mountain winds. The gyroplane is considered safer than a helicopter because if the engine stalls, the aircraft can still glide to the ground safely. Now if you're actually interested in getting one of Palvi's cars like I am, you'll be pleased to know that the release date actually is in the somewhat near future, uh, it's currently scheduled scheduled for release date in 2018, and the initial cost will be quite high, it'll be between $300,000 and $500,000 per vehicle depending on options and models. Although that price range might seem pretty high, this is still a very emerging technology so it's not surprising that we're not seeing you know, really affordable price ranges just yet. As flying cars become more mainstream, and I can't even believe I'm saying that, but as that happens, we'll be seeing flying cars retailing for less and less over time. But with that said, let me know what you think of this story in the comment section down below, give me your opinions on whether you'd be excited to drive a flying car and learn how to fly it at the new Utah school, and with that said, I will see you next time.